Hey, Coop here. Welcome to 90 Second Recap, where I share a quick sports history lesson based on today's camp. It's October 13th, and I'm wearing a Chicago Cubs New Era 5950 with a downtown Chicago L side patch purchased from Pro Image America. The Pro Image crew did a stellar job with this design, combining an undervisor with full color side patches with an actual side patch that shows the L as it runs downtown. On this date in 2024, more than 52,000 runners, wheelchair athletes, hand cyclists, and duo teams completed the Chicago Marathon. Our friend Erica was one of those finishers, inspiring me to do this bonus episode. Chicago is one of the six world marathon majors, along with Boston, New York, London, Berlin, and Tokyo. Boston's been at it the longest, going back to 1897, just a year after the invention of the marathon, when 17 competitors began a race in Athens in the first modern Olympics. But London might be the most important, which I'm sure sounds like fighting words to my friends from Beantown. Theodipides ran 24.8 miles from Marathon to Athens to deliver the news that the underdog home side had knocked off the Persians, so that's the approximate distance early marathons covered. However, in the 1908 Olympics, King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra wanted the race to begin at Windsor Castle, so the royal family could see the start. And given that the organizers wanted the race to finish in front of the Royal Box at Olympic Stadium, they tacked on extra yards, 385 of them, to the 26 miles from Windsor to the arena, which eventually became the world standard distance in May of 1921.